All right, guys, let's start off with Harold Kuntz. Go ahead, Harold. Hey, DeAndre, welcome to Kansas City, man. Um, question for you, obviously, with playing with Patrick Mahomes in college, just uh, what was that experience like coming back to playing with him, everything normal? And then any funny stories of him from uh, Texas Tech that you kind of don't want to bring up in public, but you can bring up with us maybe safely? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just crazy how, uh, you know, sometimes life comes full circle, man, uh, kind of see him in his beginning stage at Tech and then kind of see him, you know, elevate to the, you know, the stage he's at now, man, it's been a, you know, a pleasure to see. So definitely excited to be back, uh, you know, back playing with him. Uh, as far as, like, stories, man, you know, Tech was, Tech was a fun time, man. Trying to think, kind of put me on the spot. Uh, I don't got nothing off the top of my head right now, though. Let's go to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, DeAndre, thank you for taking some time. We had mentioned during uh, your initial signing availability how excited you were to have opportunities toward the end of last year with the Raiders uh, to come to Kansas City and then to see them take a running back. And then now you have um, Damian, who's opted out, meaning more opportunities likely will be available. Just what has this roller coaster sort of been like for you this off season? Yeah, man. I think uh, you know, prior to making my decision, I felt like uh, coming to Kansas City was a great opportunity for me. Um, you know, even before uh, they drafted, um, you know, the, the back uh, Clyde, um, I, I think he's a great back. But you know how this you know his game goes, but uh, you know guys are gonna roll. You know, it's a long season, so I feel like you know definitely a lot of opportunities for you know uh, everybody to eat, man. I think with uh, Coach Reed, his offense, he he's shown over. Plenty of time that he knows how to get his playmakers a ball. So I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, making my plays when I get my opportunities. Let's go to Bob Fesco. Go ahead, Bob. I want to kind of go back to what Harold asked about Mahomes. And when you were watching him in college, did you ever think that he'd be at the level that he's at now? 100%, man. It's a crazy thing, uh, you know, kind of guys I joke with, you know, just from my hometown is that, you know, his his practice film is 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 – more scary than his game field, you know, when he's kind of just just winging it and doing what he wanted to do, you know, on the practice field, he got some, you know, some pretty um, exciting plays, but, uh, you know, he's just, you know, some guys, you know, you play with, he just kind of got the effect that he's one of those guys, and he's the guy that he's able to make plays that, you know, most guys can't make, and, um, you know, he did that in high school, he did it in college, and he's still doing it, um, still doing it now. Let's go to Herbie. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, DeAndre, it, it kind of like the, the piggyback off of what Pete Sweeney asked you earlier. Last season in Oakland, you worked with a rookie running back in Josh Jacobs, and I'm curious, what was that experience like, and how, how similar do you think that experience would be like working with, with Clyde? Uh, I mean, pretty, pretty similar experience. You know, um, you know, both, I feel like, great backs. Um, both um, have, you know, great strengths to, to their game. And, uh, you know, my experience with Josh last year, you know, I, and the I, same thing I told Claude is that, uh, you know, so it's a long season. Just take care of your body. And, uh, you know, guys, guys are going to roll. You know, guys are going to get their reps. And, um, you know, you know, he don't have to feel like he has to take every rep or, you know, have to be the guy right now. You know, I understand that, you know, you're coming in as a rookie, you're hungry. And, you know, and I, and I want him to shine. And when Josh would get hot in the game, you know, I would tell Josh to stay in the game. Like, no reason to come out. You know, even when we had a rotation, like, and you hot, you know, so stay in the game and keep going. And um, and I'll keep that same, you know, that same energy with Clyde. You know, uh, any game I can give him, just from my experience, I'm definitely going to shoot it out to him. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing him shine. Let's go to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, DeAndre. Good to see you. Um, after your reaction to Damian opting out this season and understanding based on experience, you know, the, the, the teammate uh, rely on you as soon as obviously the opening week, um, how much do you think you gained and grasped out of the remote off-season program that put you in position to be ready to play uh, come week one? And also, because of the way the Chiefs sort of operate offense in terms of passing the football, uh, what's it been like recently and obviously moving forward in building the chemistry as a receiver for Patrick based on what you guys did in college? Um, so the first question, um, you know, I, I was excited to go. I was ready to go. Um, you know, it was unfortunate that, you know, they did opt out. Um, but I think, you know, what I can say that the offense is kind of pretty similar um, that I did run in Oakland, just kind of different terminology and things of that nature. So I've been able to pick up on the uh, you know, offense, you know, pretty good uh, so far. Um, my bad. Repeat the second question for me again. Just with 
now getting to be on the field with Patrick again, just what's it like to sort of build that chemistry from a receiving standpoint, given how much the Chiefs pass the football? Yeah, uh, we, we was able to get a few workouts in this offseason to kind of um, kickstart it a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, over these next few weeks, especially you know, once we start to amp things up a little bit, you know, we'll maybe get more acclimated. But, uh, you know, it's just been good to kind of be, be back out there with him and be back out there, you know, with just with these guys, you know, new teammates, new environment, uh, new energy. You know, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting time right now. Guys come out for Super Bowl wins, so, you know, guys are definitely – very excited, very confident, which I love. And uh, you know, I'm just looking to come in and compete, man, and, you know, show that, you know, what I can do and, uh, you know, you know, make my make my mark known in this offense. Let's go to Blair Kirkhoff. Go ahead, Blair. Hey, DeAndre, one more about uh, Texas Tech for me. In, in 2015, your senior year, you led the Big 12 in rushing. And I just want to know how good that Texas Tech offense was that year. Yeah, man, we, you know, it's crazy. We had weapons, man. We actually had another a receiver that got drafted, a guy named Jakeem Grant. And, um, you know, between me, him, and Pat, man, we were just, you know, we were running and gunning, man. We had, we had, we were hot that year on offense. And, um, you know, we just, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was a trifecta, you know what I'm saying? Where, you know, Pat doing his thing and you know, me on the, on the ground game. And then, you know, our receiving game was always, you know, pretty good. So we were just able to uh, kind of just feed off each other and, um, you know, able to have a good year statistically on offense that year. All right, let's go to the last one, and that's Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Yeah, just to go back to that year, that's what my question was about. Uh, you know, you nearly had 1,900 yards from scrimmage. That's a huge number. Uh, nearly 400 of those was were receiving. I just – when you think back to that year, what do you think was so special between the dynamic uh, between yourself and, and Pat? Um, just being able to feed off each other's energy. Um, you know, when you have a quarterback like that, guys can't really, um, you know, key in on the run game. And um, so that was, you know, that, was, that opened up opportunities for me. And, um, you know, and having a successful run game was like opened up opportunities for our pass game, being able to, you know, go over the top on guys. And uh, so I think it was just kind of just keying off, you know, feeding off each other's energy. And uh, like I said, we kind of got hot early. And then, you know, that uh, momentum kind of just, you know, rolled, up, rolled through the season, man, offensively, man. I wish we could have, you know, won a couple more games, of course, but, uh, you know, uh, offensively, we were hot, though, for sure. DeAndre, we had one more pop-up. Let's go to Adam Teicher to close us out. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, DeAndre, um, you played with uh, Kaliche for a couple of years, I think, in Oakland, right? Um, what was he like? What what made his game stand out to you as a, as a back? A dog. He's a dog, man. He's, he's one of a kind, man. He's, as, a, as a running back, he's one of those guys that you love running behind. He's going to make sure that he imposes his will on whoever's going, whoever's in line up in front of him. He's going to offend those guys. And, you know, Kalich is one of my, you know, favorite alumni I've, I've never played with. Had time. DeAndre, we appreciate you taking the time today. We'll talk to you soon. I yeah, appreciate it. Thank you all for having me. Thank you.